speaking of franchises that need to die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does Destiny need to die? No, that was a joke. Okay. I'm just that was my segue. <laughs> it was a good segue. Good one, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving it for this. Um yeah, I would like to um know which franchises franchises, franchises <laughs> that you think need to die. Now let me clarify. We're not saying we hate these games. We're just wanting these developers to forego making them so they can, you know, make Move other on games. to bigger and better things. Exactly. I feel like sometimes, you know, Activision or Ubisoft is like keeping some of these developers down, being like, you got to make this game, you got to make this game, you got to make this game again and again and again. It sounds like hell. Yeah. I don't know. I guess if you love it, then that's cool. But yeah, um, yeah. What, what, what games are kind of like dying in your opinion? You kind of just want to see go away, something new take its place. Um, I think all the things I will mention aren't necessarily things that I think that I want to go away. But uh-huh. like you said, it's something like, I wonder what this developer could do instead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll come right out right out the gate with a big one. Assassin's Creed. I <gasps> completely agree. Oh, um, I agree. Like wholeheartedly. That right. should have ended after long. four. Granted, the things I like about Assassin's Creed usually are the story and the time period because I, I do like history. I mean, I'm not like a history buff. Like, I know yeah. all the facts, but I yeah. enjoy a That's good historical story. Yeah. And I like the sense of, like, you're an assassin that... I mean, it's fictional, obviously, but you're an assassin that existed during this time period. And you got to yeah. get to see how they influence that time period and stuff, and mm-hmm. uh, which is cool. But uh, as far as gameplay goes, I mean, I know they've tried to make innovations over time. I still stand by the fact that Black Flag's my favorite, but after I that, I, I mean, what, what's been since then? That Unity, right? Unity, yeah, that's it. Unity and that other one. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Syndicate that's coming out. Well, that's Syndicate. coming out. Oh, uh, my, 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 my. The other one that came out on the Templar. came out on last gen. Oh, oh goodness. What is it called? Rogue. Rogue. Yes, exactly. Um, well done. Yeah, they're all relatively the same for the most part, which is fine. I mean, like we said, I mean, the reason why they keep developing these games is because they still sell very well. Yeah. Um, obviously, Unity had That's what had the Ubisoft it. dude said. He's like, the yeah. market demands it, yeah, so exactly. we're going to supply it. But and, do uh, we? Granted, Syndicate, I think, looks... Millions of people buy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because they don't want to miss a game, though. Yeah, I guess. I mean, they like it. I buy it because I like... I mean, people are going to buy something they don't want. Right, true. Especially $60. I mean, I don't walk into a store and be like, this game's going to suck ass. Here's $60. Like, I don't do that. (laughs) Yeah, I'm already intrigued by Syndicate. The fact that there's two main characters. I I really like the time period. I think Victorian London is cool for anything. Yeah, what's awesome. And, uh... I like. I mean, obviously, we have not played it yet, but the impl- the the stealth also. I, mean, I don't know how much I've expanded upon the stealth, but the fact that you have that grappling hook is already different. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the combat's been tweaked a lot, and it's, it's kind of like more hand to hand and it's yeah. faster paced. Little things like that. We don't have to go into what the game's like, but I yeah. think Assassin's Creed. A lot of people have been saying for a long time, like we got to see something new. Why do they keep making these? Something has to go away for you to miss it. Right. And it's just True. you know this game, this franchise has just been beat into our head since Brotherhood. Yep. And I keep buying. I mean, I've bought every single one because I enjoy the franchise. But I feel like they're just kind of like they're not taking enough time away to like really make sure that one of the you know one of these games is like revolutionary in the franchise. Correct. Because it just seems like they're just slowly implementing every single one of them and in terms of unity you know they 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 did really good with black flag and then with unity they kind of took a step back they took away you know a lot of features that people liked and stuff um and it's just like they just can't nail the stealth like they just can't nail it and that's essentially you know what is an assassin's creed game should be you're an assassin right so i mean i think they should you know just take some time off and I, I just think the main reason it kind of needs to go away is just because it never has. It's just being beat into our head, and it's yeah, just yeah. kind of getting... I'm getting fatigued from this franchise, yeah. and I think a lot of people are. And uh, until I, the market shows that, they're going to keep making them. Yep. Yeah. So. I kind of want Call of Duty to go away. Well, at the same time, I don't, but mm-hmm. I kind of do. That's... I want there yeah. to be a World War II game, and I want them to make it. I agree. Me too. Like, I That's what I wanted so instead bad. of Black Ops 3. <laughs> I mean, we've already had World at War. I want World at War 2. I just want something new. It doesn't even have to be Call of Duty anymore. I just want a nice war game. Yeah. Yeah. Call of Duty's a really kind of iffy franchise. Um, it, we, don't get us wrong. Like, we love... Like, it's a fun game. Yeah. It's just getting old now yeah, yeah but the thing but we is, keep buying is them. at yeah. least with call of duty is is that that you know they have developers you know working three years on them so i mean there there yeah. have been you know substantial you yeah. know the, the games are getting like better and better yeah which i can't really say for assassin's creed in relation to this right so um i actually didn't put call of duty on my list because i still feel like that that you know i mean the sales you know they're not as you know 
I think Black Ops 2 was the biggest one, and since then it's kind of slowly been going off, if I'm not mistaken. I have a feeling mistaken. Black Ops 3 is going to be yeah, big. Yeah, Black Ops 3 is going to be pretty yeah. big. I think that game looks so awesome, yeah, it looks surprisingly. Cool. Which, which is why I don't think it should die, because that, that game is still, you know... I, you know, a lot of the haters say, oh, it needs to stop. But, you know, right. still the hardcore, you know, Call of Duty fans are like, yeah, keep it coming. I don't yeah. even know any hardcore Assassin's Creed fans that are like, keep it coming, no, keep it coming. Because we used to be those hardcore fans. Like, we yeah. loved it. And even we're kind of like, yeah, it kind of needs to slow down, like take some time. Really, right. I remember how this pumped you guys were for uh, AC3. Oh, yeah. I was, I was, like, I was even mind. pumped That's for one that. with, It's uh, like Colonial America. And, America, uh, that's so cool. Native American, what's yeah. his name? because it just looks Connor. Connor, Because yeah. it just looks so different. Yeah, it's and America. This is, it's exactly what... I, I got cited for Unity, too, because it looked, you know, different with a new engine and everything, and I was right. let down. Um, my first one is, without a doubt, the one franchise on this list that I just don't even want them to touch. Like, it just needs to die. Mm-hmm. Let him die. die. He's, he's like, on the ground right now, and you just won't shoot him in the head. He's, right. like, he's, he's suffering. He's suffering right now. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Dead. Kill him. Dark. Mm-hmm. He's he's dead. Mm-hmm. He's, yeah. You're he just trying to revive him, him, and he's dead. Yeah. He hasn't had a good game in God. Has he ever had a good game? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's had good games, but <laughs> back in the day, like... Man, the, the last game, Sonic Boom, that came out, like, holy crap, was that game awful. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, from Sonic 06, they had a good game with Sonic Generations. They either need to give the fans what they want, like a good classic 2D Sonic game, or just give up. Because, mm-hmm. you know, and even uh, Sega came out and said, like, we're, we're sorry we've been doing this, and, you know, we really need to treat these franchises with, you know, better respect and stuff like that. Yeah. That's basically what he said, I believe. But, um, man, they're killing Sonic. Like, he is just... He's he's essentially already dead mm-hmm. just due to his you know. It's a shame because he's a beloved uh, character for sure. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Kids growing up these days, like I don't even know if they can perceive him as that because they've just right. grown up with just crappy yeah. Sonic games. I've never played a good Sonic game. Yeah, no, I know the people. The Genesis games were awesome. Like I, I used to play them as a as a kid. They're cool. The Game Boy Advance Sonic Advance games are really cool. I've heard Sonic Generations on the 360 and PS3 was really good. You Sonic Colors. <laughs> What? Two of my favorite Sonic games are two that people consider like just awful. Like Sonic Adventure Battle Two, I love. Rolling around in the speed of sound, no go, got a my I love that song. That's a good it's song. an opening to when you're escaping the city at the beginning. Yeah, opening's freaking awesome. It is. I love <laughs> that game. And what's the one I played on PC? Sonic Racing? Yeah. That's considered what? freaking awful. Dude, I yeah. loved that game on PC. <laughs> I played it for hours on end for probably years. I loved it. I remember playing that in your mom's room where the computer yeah. was. Yeah, you know what I distinctly that. remember the most is the pitter-patter of Sonic's shoes when he ran. Oh, really? It was just like... <laughs> <laughs> and it just like constant like that. Like... <laughs> the whole great. time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I went back and actually bought Sonic Adventure 2 when it came to... um. Xbox 360. They yeah. made like a little remaster port for it. Uh-huh. Ooh, it was Ooh. not good. Yeah, it was not good. It's not how I remember mm. getting it on GameCube, and I was like, "This is awesome." Playing it again now, it was really bad. Like I was surprised how bad it was. It how just didn't control well. Like mm-hmm. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I, I really like <laughs> Sonic shoes in that game. I thought he had some cool shoes. Oh yeah, yeah. and Sonic too looks. Fr- uh, Shadow looks freaking awesome. His yeah. glider shoes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a really bad game too. Shadow the Hedgehog. I for Christmas. I heard one it was year, terrible. And I was in denial. I think you're the one that told it me it was really bad. Yeah, I was like, this is cool because it was my only like Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah. <I got."> yeah. <laughs> but um, I have a good one. What's that? All sports games. They need to stop being made every year. Oh. I would rather. <gasps> than, I'd rather than just make like Madden. And then update it every year. That I makes agree. total update the sense. Yeah. Makes and total then, like, sense. maybe every five years, they'll release a game or something. They need to right. make it, like, almost like a platform. Like, it's just like yeah. you buy this and, like, yeah, you, that'd be a you buy idea. Madden and then you add things to it. Right. Almost. Mm. Yeah. The stats are updated constantly, yeah. the rosters. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Essentially, that. that makes so much Which I don't know sense. if that makes them know. as much money. It, no, I mean, it, people it are doesn't. willing to go out and buy $60 <laughs> games over and over and over and over. That would just be so cool. Yeah. I mean, then again, when I think about it, it doesn't really, like, bother me because i like i don't even care no, about them so whatever neither. whatever makes them money cool speaking of sports games i'll just throw this in there real quick uh nba live i don't play it i used to play it yeah whenever i i don't play i used to kind of play sports games when i was younger um i was always more attracted to the 2k games as far as nba goes obviously anyone that plays those games know they're vastly superior to nba live but uh, i started out on nba live 03 when we were kids and i love that game and i played all the way through 07 and then i start i switched over to 2k i got 2k7 i love that a lot more but uh i think it was 08 or 09 where NBA Live just tanked and like they weren't selling they canceled it for a couple years and it came back you remember we played the demo on yeah. PS4 and it was like it looked like a PS1 game yeah. it was so bad especially after playing um, 2K 
because it, it yeah. actually looked really good. Like the character models mm-hmm. were pretty good. And yeah. And playing the demo to that, we were like, dang. And I'm pretty sucks. sure the last couple NBA lives have been re- received awful reviews. I haven't played any of yeah, them. They but, have, uh, I think only like one or two yeah. came out since then. I don't, I don't, I don't know why they keep trying to bring that back. Because I feel like it's just so bad. Because EA point? wants a foot in in on I, that. I, that's what I assume. <laughs> I mean, it's I don't know, but uh, not that it even affects me, like you said. But yeah. that's something that should probably just be done with. Yeah, and I don't really <laughs> know anything else. Those developers are just made to make sports games, right? So yeah. I mean, that's kind of I guess that's what they like to make. So mm-hmm. I can't really say anything Ooh. about that. Um, do you have another one? Ooh. Yeah, I haven't actually thought about this topic at all. I might think of stuff as we go on. Okay. So. Well, I, I what are y'all's opinions on Halo? Do you think it should die? Or? I think after Halo yeah. 6, they already said they're doing a, another trilogy. Yeah, four, yeah. Or five and I six. think that'd be a good okay. place I'm to I'm really stop. intrigued by this new story they're making, but uh, I don't want it to last very much longer. Right. I think after 6, people will be like, okay, that's enough Halo At the very least, take a break. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm excited for Halo 5, but not nearly as excited after as Reach, I was back in the day. If they ended it after Reach, I think a lot of people would have been like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if they if they just wouldn't have announced Halo Four, I think people would have just you know be like, oh, that'd be cool to make another one. But yeah. I don't think I'm, I'm sure Halo. It's of course Bungie went on to make Destiny, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, obviously Microsoft was like, we need another team to start making these again. So if Bungie yeah. just went off and made Destiny, I think people would just be fixated on that instead of Halo, right? From then on, you know, either in a you know good or bad light. Um, uh, I was thinking after Halo Six, if they actually, I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm assuming they'll. They already said they will, so I'm assuming they're going to go along with what they said and make Halo 6, but yeah. uh, I feel like if they wait quite... I mean, that's the thing. What is 343 going to do in the meantime? I don't know. Yeah, but no, but, but I, they, I mean, they're named 343 because the... I think it's called like Guilty Spark 343 or something in Halo 1. It's part of the Halo story. That's why they're called 343 Industries, but mm-hmm. uh, I'm wondering with a name like that, they kind of have to stick to making Halo games, so I'm wondering... If they should take kind of like the coalition, yeah, and they have yeah. to make money. It isn't like they're like, all right, we're gonna take a break for a few years and then bring back Halo. Like, I'm trying to think of something they can do after Halo Six that's still in that Halo universe, even similar gameplay. I don't but want anything like in Halo games. Games. I mean, I, I don't know. If, as long as, like, with all of these, as long as you know these games are econom- economically like beneficial, they're just mm-hmm. gonna keep making them. There's nothing that says they can't change their name. I mean. Yeah, I mean, that's it, true. exactly. That's I mean, true. just like Black Tusk changed their name to the Coalition. I mean, right. it's, it's as easy as that. Yeah. So, I mean, I would like to see, you know, 343's own take, you know, not taking you know, from Bungie's, you know, Halo games and right. lore and stuff. Or if they created kinda, their own shooter. Yeah, exactly. That'd, That'd be, be cool. interesting. Um, my big controversial one mm-hmm. will be uh, two, <laughs> 2D Mario games. 2D Mario games. Mm-hmm. And your argument is because of Mario Creator, correct? Mario Maker. Mario yeah. Maker, yeah. Side scrolling Mario games. I would, yeah, I'd like to see like them make Mario games and implement them into Mario Maker. Yeah, I feel like that also needs to be considered a platform because essentially you can have any 2D Mario game ever on the planet with yeah. that game. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the point of? Yeah, it's not like, they don't even make like huge graphical improvements. Nintendo. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's it's like a new Mario game can come out, then somebody can go on Mario Maker and essentially make that game and be like, hey, yeah. just download it. Yeah. Like, so I feel like you know they've kind of that maybe that's what why they're doing it. They're just yeah. like we're kind of done with these 2D games. They could move it to 3DS. Yeah. You know, maybe the their next portable device or something. This can just be a game that just transgresses or like. Is that even a good word to use? I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't I can't even know what that word. I don't even know what that word means. That's the name of Pers- a song. Persis- I know. I don't know. Uh, what's the it word? goes Why from we... console to console. Yeah, it, per- it, it just it forever consoles. is with Nintendo. Like yeah. Nintendo consoles have Mario Maker. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's just it. Like, it, it's always with Nintendo. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that would be cool. And you know, they transcends. Could... Transcends. Okay. What Maybe. did I say? Transgress. I don't know. You know what we mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I feel like you know they could you know put put more time into like rise. 3D the Mario games because that's what we're Sorry. lacking now is 3D Mario games like mm-hmm. Mario Galaxy type games and stuff. Those are very you know those come you know not as often as 2D games. Why are you looking at me that way? I was listening to what you're saying. Oh, okay. I was still fixated on the transgress and transcend thing. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not okay. it's not transcend because transcend means to like rise above. Yeah, we're trying to think of a word that means go through, but go I, through. I, there's got to be a word that starts with a T that T. means like to continue through something. To continue um, through transpires i don't know that has to be it isn't it okay man our vocabulary struggles when we're on the podcast we sound like the biggest idiots sometimes that's all right i hope you guys still like us what were you saying 2d mario it needs to die okay 
Not that we hate it. It needs to take no. a break. But you have an excellent no, point. I don't hate it because Mario Maker is going to be freaking awesome. I just don't yeah. see a point in making another Mario game that's, after it's that That's a good point. point yeah. yeah. Especially, yeah. I mean, if I guess you could put it on handhelds since Mario Maker isn't on there. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Mario Maker would do fantastic on handhelds. Yeah. I don't know if, you know, the 3DS can really, isn't is powerful enough to, you know, make levels and stuff like that. But maybe their next, you know, portable console, maybe the N- maybe the NX is a portable console. I don't know. Who knows? But, um, you know, definitely their next one needs to have that game because that yeah. game seems perfect. Yeah. You know, Plus, they're putting it on, like, the end of its life. The What's the system called? The Wii U? Wii U? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's... Isn't their new console getting announced next year? We believe? Well, I mean, it's already announced. The NX. Well, revealed yeah. next year? Yeah, revealed yeah, I mean, is yeah, what I mean. Essentially, yeah. Um, I'm going to say another one. Okay. God of War. I I mean, how God many games War. have there been? Four, right? Four. Four. One, two... Well... Hasn't you there count been the like PSP more? games. That's what I was thinking. Which were made by now Ready at Dawn mm-hmm. making the order. Do we know if they're making any more? Yes, they already confirmed they are making another God of War. Yeah. Which is fine. I freaking love God of War, but I want to see what this, you know, Santa Monica can do besides mm-hmm. God of War. And I think they were working on another game that was canceled. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. But um I, I they're so good at making games. Like yeah. you know, from playing all the God of War games, they're phenomenal games. Like mm-hmm. I, I would we, definitely... we've uh, seen what can happen if like a company will like stop making a kind of game like uh Guerrilla Games, they're done with Killzone for now. Yeah. They're ho- focusing on Horizon Zero Dawn. Which is so different, yeah. it's like not even funny. Yeah, exactly. great so far. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I would Maybe love we can to get see another gym like that from these guys. Yeah, exactly my point. Um, which is, you know, essentially, like I said at the beginning, the point of this topic, like, you know, getting these studios that make these, you know, mm-hmm. you know, franchises and getting them to do something else. So definitely God of War was one of the first things that came to my mind because I freaking love their games and I just want to see what they're going to do. Right. See, I don't have that same feeling because I never had a PS3, so I didn't experience God of War. Man's got a point. Yep, that's true. I guess we're thinking from our own perspective. So I'm actually excited for this coming uh, Tuesday. That's why this is, I think this is a fun topic because depending on the games we choose the franchises we think need to die are all based on our own experiences. Right. So you've played far more Sonic games than I have. Yeah. Uh, he's got an excellent point in the sense that he hasn't played all the God of Wars. I haven't even played all the God of Wars. I played the demo in Blockbuster of, of God of War 2. Okay. I remember that vividly. Yeah. And then uh, I played through God of War 3. I didn't play Ascension. I haven't played any mm-hmm. of the PSP games. Mm-hmm. I've seen gameplay for all of them, but I haven't played all of them. Mm-hmm. But I play another God of War, definitely. I'm yeah. not like, holy crap, awesome, but I'll yeah, play it. I'm, I'm sure the next God of War on PS4 is going to be... I mean, especially when you see like what they did with God of War 3, mm-hmm. yeah. I can't imagine you know what they're going to do with God of War 4. Right. Like, that makes my mind just race mm-hmm. you know, from all the crazy stuff that they could do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, another one just that needs to die is Medal of Honor. Yeah. yeah. Like, Did, when when's the last, the last one, one that came out? It was Warfighter. There's one on the 360. That's been a couple years ago, though. Hasn't yeah, it? and it kind of died from that. You, yeah. you could kind of tell that. That game was so bad. Yeah, DICE, I mean, not DICE, EA kind of wanted to probably do like, oh, Battlefield this year, Medal of Honor this year, mm-hmm. Battlefield this year. Then when everybody was like, well, Medal of Honor sucks, EA, they are kind of yeah. just like, well, I guess we can't <laughs> do that. That's sad because I loved Medal of Honor as a kid. Yeah. The big ones that stick out in my mind Front were... Frontline. Uh, Frontline, that's my favorite one. Rising Sun came after that, and uh, European Assault was my third favorite one, in that order. I never played... Uh, I did play that one. You know why yeah. I love European Assault so much? That's because it's the first Medal of Honor that implemented ragdoll physics. Okay. And I've always you a- could hide behind cover in that game too, right? You could. It had a cover mechanic, and you could like stick I remember, out. And yeah, stuff. I remember that Ooh. vividly. And uh, I've always been a physics junkie in video games, like anything that moves around realistically and when bodies fall realistically. The first time I ever experienced ragdoll physics was in Halo Two. I was like, that's the most mind blowing thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and then they had it in Spider Man Two, the video game, which was even cooler to me because I'm like, yeah. I'm beating the crap out of guys, and there's ragdolls flying everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. man, this is awesome. <laughs> that's why I loved European Assault I love so the, much uh, as a kid. Like falling effects in GTA Five. <laughs> yeah, I love the physics in GTA. Some people, yeah, I mean, Rock, they, Rockstar has a fantastic physics engine. Yeah, sure. it's great. <laughs> yeah, but uh, speak is that game you today? That franchise? I mean, I know it no, just came back. Not at all. They're, they're killing it still. I mean, it comes out like what every four or five years. Well, that's Long not how it used to be, swear. right? Because it, it got pretty annualized with the um when it went from three to Vice City to San yeah. Andreas, and then they kind of took some time off and four came out. Then they yeah. took a lot of time you off. see what could happen when they take that break to five. No, exactly, which is my point for like what Assassin's Creed needs to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, like you have to go away f- for somebody to miss you. It, it, just like Fallout 4. That's a good point. Yeah. They, nobody knew about that game, and it mm-hmm. just came back, and people it's going to sell why Bethesda's 10 so plus successful. million copies. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, I'm assuming if Assassin's Creed just kind of went away, 
people, I would be like, well, where's Assassin's Creed? Yeah. And, you know, yeah. if it comes out like two or three years, it might sell more copies than those two or three years together if there was, you know, one game in, you know, all of those years. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, you, I don't know. You don't know. Um, You guys have any more? Because I have one more. Uh, I have a genre. A uh, genre? I, I, gosh, I had one in my head. Do MMOs need to go away? No. Have we overdone MMOs? I don't think we've overdone them. Cause Cause I, I think ton. I think the traditional and no one likes uh, them anymore. I think the traditional mechanics sure have been will. overdone. I mean, in how MMOs. many people are playing WoW? Not nearly as many as there used to be. Yeah, but there's like, I don't know, like seven million. All I know people? is that there's not nearly as many people that play them now as there used to be, like altogether. I don't know. Maybe I mean, not just one game. I mean, like just all of them. Maybe there needs to be one that like. Truly, like because they're a huge, they're a huge time commitment. Revolution, God. revolution. <laughs> when revolution. I had one in my head, it was really good. I can't maybe remember what it was. If De- maybe if Destiny did like a hardcore MMO thing, it could like spark it. Spark, spark. God, I'm stupid. What's named the spark? What, what? what is that? Spark. Yeah, what? there's something called the spark. It's in some game. I know what you're talking about. What I can't is think that? of what it is. <laughs> is it the spark from Halo? Or isn't like the thing that flies around called a spark? I don't know. I call myself a Halo fan. I what don't know the, the name spark? of anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I had a franchise in my head that made total sense about one that I thought could at least take a significant break, and I cannot remember what it was. I'm sorry. I can't because we got off onto another think. discussion. Think. Go ahead and, and say your last one, and Resident I'll think about Evil. it. Okay. After never, never six, played one of those. I was just like, oh, I haven't played any. I didn't even play doing? five. I played the demo for five. Five was fine. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people hate on it. It wasn't scary at all. But I actually enjoyed five. I platinumed it. Mm-hmm. I had fun doing it. Four. Don't know why I didn't put this on one of my favorite games of all times list. Mm-hmm. Game was freaking incredible. Mm-hmm. I've played that game like over ten times at least and beaten it. On the Wii is my favorite version of the game. Yeah. It's freaking awesome on the Wii. Mm-hmm. Like, the aiming and stuff is just amazing. Then it came to Xbox 360. Yeah. And I played the crap out of it on there. Mm-hmm. Um, so they, they need to go back to that style. And they tried to in 6 mm-hmm. with, like, the Leon campaign. Yeah. And it just wasn't good. The controls were weird. The story was weird. It just wasn't weird. scary. Weird. Because it's co-op. Weird. And if you do something co-op, it's automatically not as scary. Yeah. Because Resident Evil 4 had some freaking creepy stuff in it. Because mm-hmm. it was just you on this island of just crazy people. Yeah. So, I feel like they either need to just really reboot that franchise or kind of just stop making it. Maybe go do something else. Because I think the original creator of Resident Evil 4 went and got a deal with Bethesda. And he's the one who made The Evil Within. Yeah. And I've heard that game's really good. So I think he kind of took the hint. So hopefully Capcom will take the hint and either just like do a super hard reboot of that franchise or just, you know, if you're going to continue making these super action-y Resident Evil games, just stop making them because people don't like them. It's not like there's a demand for these games. I don't know how well it's sold, but I haven't... Not one, you know, um, credit, credited... Elephant. Elephant. <laughs> not a game site... That is. <laughs> what are you saying? There's not one credible uh, game reviewer web my bobber site that gave that game a good score. <laughs> we need someone to quote that entire thing. <laughs> Leave There's a comment below if you just read this for game all the glabla that. Hey, it's it's two a.m. I totally I'm understand. Tired. Believe me, I can't yeah. even think of what you're going to say either. But I understand. There's not, what I don't even you're know what you guys to, were talking. It's, about. There's, I understand there's what not you're like, trying to say in, in terms of like IGN, Gamespot, Game Informer. Nobody gave that game a good score. It yeah. was just kind of like we're just talking about of, Resident Evil. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Six. The sixth one. <laughs> I like zoned out. Nobody a few liked ago. it. So if if that if that made sense at all. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> no one in general gave it a good score. Yes. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it any better myself. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> oh, man. That's about it for me. You got anything else, Jacob? I, can, I cannot think of what I was I thinking really of. I can't, no. Man, that, make, that frustrates me so much, I cannot remember. I mean, there are others, was. but... Do you I've have the, the game ones. on your shelf? No, I don't. Have you played the game? Yeah. Have I, you ever bought the game? Yeah. I'm trying to think of what it is. I can't think of it. This is this is fun. Yeah. This is a fun game we're playing. Um 
Did you shoot in this game? I can't remember. That's the thing. Do you stab people? I don't know. Do you? Was there parkour? Is there know. stealth? I don't know. Is there? I don't know anything about it. I, I like <laughs> it completely went to another. I know this game. It went to another I universe. Just the it. Arkham series. Does it need to be dead now? Yes. Okay. That wasn't what I was thinking, but yes. Okay. <laughs> um, man. Did you guys see the leaked screenshot of like the Superman game? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, if it's real, cool. Yeah. yeah. Who did it say who it was, who it came the from? The people who made WB, Origins, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Huh. I mm. liked them. I liked Origins. Yeah. The more I played Night, the more I realized I liked Origins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In terms Pretty of cool. boss battles, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yep. definitely. Is is there uh, shopping? Like, can you go shopping in this game? <laughs> uh, don't even ask me anymore. I don't even know. I, I hate to just keep our, our 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 viewers and our listeners just yeah. sitting They're, here they waiting. They want to know, Garrett. I mean, if you it, maybe we'll figure it out in the comments. If we don't figure it out now, <laughs> just ask us questions in the comments, and we'll try to decipher Garrett, it in my brain. If Garrett remembers what it is and you guessed it correctly, we'll send you like a subway we'll gift send you card a tootsie or roll. I can't even gather my thoughts to think of what it was. Mm, it's gonna drive mm, me insane. Sorry, I have no clue. Well, oh. that was episode oh, nineteen. Well. Of the It's Obvious Gaming Podcast. Well, a somber ending to episode yes. 19. Lucky 19, right? Uh, yeah, The I luckiest guess. number in all of the numbers. That's right. Is that a thing? No. No? no? Oh, you guys it are just it pulling out of huh? It could be. Okay. I had to unbutton my shirt because it's getting a little hot. Man. It's very hot. It is now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're spicing it up in here, Jacob. Yeah. The show where my two best friends get together every single week to discuss video games. Yeah, obviously. just the two of us. Just the two of us. I'm not clowning Jacob after that. You're not clowning him. Gonna hide behind my mic. Okay. You're not counting Jacob because the two of us do this podcast alone. It's basically yeah. what you just said. Yeah, basically. That's okay though. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Okay. Hey, yeah. I'm, I'm still here. Oh, my bad. Well, if you got this far, holy crap. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. It's, it's been a long <laughs> one. Deserves some kind of award. Yeah, this is probably going to be our longest podcast. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good conversation. I enjoyed it. It was. I enjoyed talking with you boys. I enjoyed talking on this radio station about video games tonight. Yeah. yeah. What station are we on? 9205 The Pew. The Pew. Yeah, the that's Pew. such a funny joke. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. All right, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you next Thank week. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.